All right, 1245 on this gloomy, soggy, nasty Monday afternoon. One good thing with the recent rainfall, the pollen starting to wash away a little bit. The recent allergy report from this morning, things are starting to subside a little bit after a record breaking tree pollen level last week, late last week. Uh, tree pollen's now in the moderate range, mold in the moderate range. I don't think we're done quite yet with the tree pollen. I don't think it's going to be completely over with. We might see another spike as we dry back out, but uh, I think we've hit our peak as far as the tree pollens go and then we'll transition to more of a grass pollen and eventually ragweed season later on this summer. All right, brewers are back in town taking on the Diamondbacks. If you plan on doing some tailgating, bring an umbrella, tarp, whatever you got. Rain is likely, maybe a thumb and thunderstorm, a rumble of thunder. Uh, first pitch. 50 degrees, at least we'll have a roof over our heads. All right, visibility this early afternoon down in a few spots, even close to zero in Port Washington. So again, watch out for that fog. If you're doing some traveling, keep your headlights on. Uh, again, with the rain and the fog out there, two mile visibility in West Bend. This is a live looking Racine. You can see the fog downtown is thick. It's 52 degrees in Racine. Winds out of the east southeast at 10 miles per hour and in Milwaukee, a little bit warmer. 54 degrees southeast wind at 10 miles per hour. And as we look across southeastern Wisconsin, uh, you can see in general temperatures are in the 50s. 55 in Kenosha, Watertown, Beaver Dam. We might get a few spots to touch 60 degrees far inland if we see enough breaks in the rainfall this afternoon. But in general, cool and soggy for today. Warmer times ahead on the tail end of the seven day forecast. And later on this week, we could have some more thunderstorms as well. Thursday, Friday and into Saturday. OK, Storm 4 Max radar. One area of heavier rain lifting north out of the area. Another one to the west here could clip location, say along 151 from Beaver Dam up towards Fond du Lac and still a pretty decent rain clipping Racine and Kenosha County street level in Kenosha, dark green and yellow indicating a good moderate steady rain that continues as we widen the view. You can see another area of heavier rain missing us to the south through Chicago. For us, it's going to be this scattered light stuff for the most part as we head into the afternoon, so not completely dry. But I think things start to lighten up a little bit by four o'clock. Still some scattered showers for the afternoon commute by 830. Mainly sprinkles. I guess we could call it a light shower up until around midnight tonight. And we still might see a sprinkle early tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. And then we'll see the clouds start to break apart by late tomorrow afternoon and we clear out really good by tomorrow night. So your forecast uh, for today, a high temperature of 54, light rain, maybe a few heavier showers to go, but in general, light rain. For tonight, a low temperature of 48, chance of light showers or sprinkles and fog. Here's your seven day. All right, on Tuesday, 63. Maybe a peak of sun in the afternoon. Inland 68 degrees on Wednesday, 75 inland 80 on Thursday, 78 degrees inland 82. Slight chance of storms on Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday look like great days. Now again, a slight chance on Thursday, a little bit better chance of thunderstorms on Friday and Saturday. Still warm 78 on Saturday and 74 and partly cloudy on Sunday. We'll be right back.